From an underdog driver to an underdog team, the rise of Martin Truex Jr. and Fernand Turo Racing is one of the greatest ascents we have ever seen in NASCAR history. The combination was god-awful in the beginning, but eventually they hit their stride. In the span of a couple of seasons, the two would go from underdogs to contenders. In 2017, it would all culminate into a Monster Energy Cup Series Championship. Welcome to Championship Seasons Martin Truex Jr. 2017. So let's get into it. 2016 was a pivotal year for Furniture Row Racing as they would make the switch from Chevy to Toyota. With the Joe Gibbs Alliance to boot, the team would ascend to heights never seen before. This allowed Truex to reach his full potential as he had a season filled with career highs. His 2016 stats are this. 4 wins, 8 top 5s, 17 top 10s, and an average finish of 13.9. Unfortunately, he was knocked out of the round of 12 and finished 11th in the standings. Heading into 2017, the expectations for Truex and Furniture Row were to pick up where they left off. With a new race format set in place, the 78 team took full advantage. This not only led to the team's first championship, but a new catchphrase. Stage winner, MTJ. Outside, 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 clear, clear, clear. Use it up over here, buddy. Your leader, 78. First stage win of the year, MTJ. Truex to win stage two. Coming to the white flag, one lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank, and Truex is back to the lead. Wow, you just don't know, do you? These races have become so unpredictable. What about it? He won the first two stages. Can Whoa. he win the last one? Larson for second, and here come Logano and Kyle Busch for He's third. Three wide going in there to Turn three. This is going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly down here, boys. Oh, and pushes around. Martin Truex is money in Las Vegas. <laughs> Woo! What a wild First finish. We ever got a gift, boys. Proud of y'all, man. Never give up, baby. Martin Truex. Oh, yeah, buddy. Good job. Cole Pern hit for the cycle. Coming off turn number four to the front straightaway is going to be Martin Truex Jr. MPJ wins the stage. Truex wins the stage. Martin Truex Jr. brings him back to the green checkered flag. He will claim stage two. Uh, green white, stage winner, MPJ. Out of turn number four, denied last year by a crazy part failure. He led the most laps then, he leads the most laps now. Martin Truex gets his Kansas win. Wow. Hey, oh, we got it. Ha <laughs> <Yeah>. ha. Awesome. <laughs> Finally. Oh, yeah, man. All right, for the sixth time, baby, you are the stage winner, MTJ. Coming to the green chair. Martin Truex, his seventh stage. Martin Truex Jr. wins stage two. Green, twice checkered for the eighth time. Yeah, he is continuing to build quite an advantage when those playoffs right. come around. This year, stage winner, MTJ. <laughs> Wait, MTJ, Martin Truex Jr. <laughs> Martin Truex Jr., a double stage winner in Michigan. How many stages has Truex won now? Ten. Ten. Martin Truex Jr. takes the green and white checkers and beats A.J. Allmendinger to the flag. And for the 12th time this season, stage winner, MTJ. For the 13th time this season, stage winner, MTJ. Into the restart zone. We're in overtime. Green flag back in the air. Great job by Truex. He came with speed. He did not get too slow. That helped him not spin those rear tires. He dives to the bottom of the racetrack in front of the 18 and pulling away as the 18 moves up the track to the overtime line. They get there. Kyle Larson shoots to the bottom of the track. He moves up to second. We are in overtime sponsored by Credit One Bank. All right, fly, fly. Clear White fly. flag in the air. One more time around as they wreck behind him. The caution has come out. It has been a perfect 10 for Martin Truex Jr., his 10th career win. It will come in Kentucky. What a race for Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. That is the third win in 2017. For Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex Jr. is a stage winner. I guess we want too many stages. They don't talk to me no more, huh? One lap to go, back, sponsored baby, by Credit back. One Bank. This is it. It's coming down to Martin Truex and Matt Kenseth. 
Matt Kenseth. Can he do it? Truex locks up into turn six. One corner left. The difference may be between making the playoffs and not. The guy who leads the points, the guy who needs the win, it's not going to happen. Martin Truex Jr. will win at the Glen, and he's running out of fuel, but he makes it. Oh, what a thriller. Truex does it. He's won at Sonoma, and now he's won at the Glen. And he was the smartest in the fuel game. For the 15th time this season, stage winner, MTJ. Not wrapped up yet. Here comes the 78. The battle as they come to the line. What a run for Martin Shrek Jr. He gets the win in stage one. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. With pleasure this time, stage winner, MTJ. The 18th time this season, stage winner, MTJ. Martin Truex Jr. battled after adversity, and he did it a year ago. Last year, in 2016, he was able to win this race after having issues. They had a problem with the tire early in the race. Then they battled back. Well, it was a speeding penalty. Today, he's battled back, and he has once again shown his dominance on mile and a half. Mark Truex Jr. is going to win the first race of the playoffs. Congratulations, Mark. It took four That's times. Unbelievable. Thank you, guys. For the 19th time this season, stage winner, MTJ. And you can give stage one of the ISM Connect 300 to Martin Truex Jr. White flag in the air one more time around for Martin Truex Jr. He's been dominant at mile and a half tracks. This time he started 17th. Not a typical run for the 78 team to start so far back, but they've worked their way to the front. The 37-year-old from New Jersey coming out of turn four. Martin Truex Jr. will win the Bank of America 500. Good job, Pierre Cruz. That is six. One more time around the mile and a half. A fabricator for the Furniture Row team. Jim Watson lost his life yesterday. And so now, with heavy hearts, they race. But Martin Truex Jr. trying to put another win in the column for the organization and the family. Coming through three and four for the final time. He's going to do it again. Martin Truex Jr. wins. For you, Jim. Love you, bud. As they come to the final lap, one lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. The gap still a half a second. Martin Truex Jr., Kyle Busch running one and two. For the final time, they'll go down the back stretch. Martin Truex Jr., 12 years in the Cup Series, and his roller coaster career is finally reaching the peak. Putting an exclamation point on a near perfect season. Mark Truex Jr. is the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series champion. His 2017 stats are this. Eight wins, 19 top fives, 26 top tens, and an average finish of 9.4. Martin Truex Jr. and Furniture Row Racing did it. They reached the top of the mountain, but unfortunately what got them there would be the team's downfall. Joe Gibbs eventually realized how much this alliance was helping them, and he wasn't getting his fair shake. He would up the prices on the team, and eventually this led to the team's shutting down. They couldn't afford what he was asking for, and rather than rebuilding once again, Barney Vester decided it was time to get out. The legacy of Furniture Row Racing will forever be remembered for this season. This could have been one of the greatest dynasties in NASCAR history, but we will forever be begging the question of what if. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.